What's going on, y'all? So if you're tired of double clicking to open up your plugins in Studio One, I'm going to show you how you can do this with a key command. So we know that using the arrow keys on the keyboard will cycle through your tracks, as well as using the bracket keys, you can go through the tracks. But then when we want to open up a plugin, normally we'll double click it, which takes a little, is a slower process because it takes your hand off the keyboard and on to the mouse. So to do this, we're going to use the key command. We type a uh, show channel is show channel editor and mine is mapped to F11, which is what it's, it's mapped to by default. And of course you can map this to anything else that you want. And uh, I am on a Mac and so on a Mac, the F11 key is mapped to mission control as well as the volume keys by default. So we need to do some changing in system and preferences to enable this to, to work in Studio One. So you're gonna wanna go to keyboard and you wanna make sure this use F1, F2, et cetera, keys as standard function keys is selected. So once you do this, you no longer have to hold FN to get to the F keys on the top of the keyboard. But F11 is also mapped to mission control. So you're also gonna to wanna to go to mission control and the show desktop, which is by default mapped to F11, just change it to something else. And once you do that back in studio one, you'll then be able to use the F keys without using, without holding FN. It's like you can hit F11 and we can now show the plugin that's on that track. And it also opened up the rest of the F keys, like F3 is your mix, uh, F4 is the inspector, and so on. So I'm also gonna show you how to map this to a fader port. And to do that, I'm gonna click up here, go to your fader port, and these keys here, or these buttons, I should say, we, we can reassign. So like this F5 is set to scratch pad, I'm not going to use this button to open up the scratch pad. So if you right click on it, assign command back to a show channel editor, select that. Okay. And now close this and on my fader port now hold shift and that. And now I can cycle through my channels on the fader port and then open up the plugin from there. So using that key command, just the F11 to me is just a lot quicker because, and the F11 key is a, a natural position for your fingers, in my opinion, to land on the keyboard. So it just makes it really quick to open up the plugin and get it up on the screen versus moving the mouse around and double clicking. All right, uh, any questions, comments, let me know and I'll catch y'all next time. I want to invite everyone to check out my new podcast, The Faders Up Podcast. It's a podcast about pro audio. I've got me and three other Nashville professionals. We're discussing pro audio, pro audio topics, the pro audio lifestyle. And it's available on Apple Podcasts and it's available on Spotify. So check it out, rate it, let me know what you think.